Revelations 21, 21, John describes the new holy city of Jerusalem as made out of pure gold, as clear as glass. The walls were made out of 12 precious stones, and the 12 gates were 12 pearls. Each gate was a single pearl. Throughout history, the finest quality of pearls have become looked at as precious gemstones and objects of beauty. The word pearl itself has become a metaphor for something fine, rare, and admirable. In Matthew 13, 45 and 46, Jesus said, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant on the lookout for choice pearls. When he discovered a pearl of great value, he sold everything he owned and bought it. Jesus is saying that the kingdom of heaven, God, is like a merchant who is on the hunt for good pearls. God is looking for good people, and when he finds one, he's willing to sell everything he has to buy it, to own it to call it his. God gave up his only son to die for us, and not just us in general, but me and you, so that we can know him. If there was no one else on this earth, God still would have sent Jesus to die for your sins, just because you're that pearl. You mean everything to God. You're valuable. You're worth it. In 1 Corinthians 6.20 says, you were bought for a great price. You are that pearl. If you ever go pearl shopping, you'll find that there are two different types of pearls. There are natural pearls that are made with no human intervention. They're rare, hard to find, and very valuable. And then there are cultured pearls that you find in every jewelry store. They're made to look exactly like natural pearls. On the outside, you can't tell the difference. They're both shiny and milky. They're both smooth and round. They're both created with time and care. They're both looked at as something of value. But natural pearls are worth so much more. The only way to tell the difference between a natural pearl and a cultured pearl is by x-raying it. You see, the structure on the inside is what sets them apart. When x-rayed, natural pearls have a solid center with concentric growth rings around it, much like an old tree, showing years of weathering storms and enduring life. Culture pearls are started with preformed beads that when x-rayed, look like stacked layers with just a thin layer of nacre covering it to give it the appearance of a solid pearl. You see, the cultured pearls look exactly like natural pearls. It has the same outer coating weight, density, everything. But when you look on the inside, the cultured pearls are fake. They're empty. We go through life just trying to make the outside look good. You know, we get a good job, get a house, get money, have cars, gadgets, get new clothes, get nice hair. Even in ministry, you're involved in all the outreaches, cleaning the church, and everything possible, which it all isn't a bad thing, but it doesn't matter. There are so many times when we just go through the motions just to make the outside look good, to give the appearance that we've got it all together that were worth a great price. When really, inside, we're empty. There's no newness in our walk with God. There's no fire, no passion. It's just going through the motions. But we keep going through the motions so that others don't think any less of us. But the problem is that the other people aren't the ones who consider us a great pearl. It's Jesus who paid the price for us. It matters what he thinks of us. He's got the x-ray. He can see through the outer layer and knows what's really on the inside.
Sometimes we try so hard to make the outside look like it's worth something of value. But just like those pearls, if the inside's not solid, it's just not worth as much. You were bought with a great price. God would and has given up his most prized possession so that he could have you. It is finished. But what kind of pearl are you? Do you look like a pearl on the inside, but when x-rayed are found empty? Or are you solid through and through, just like a natural pearl? You see on the outside, they both look the same, but it's what's on the inside that counts.